It is a lovely spring day, and I feel like drinking some tea with Barbie outside and reading this June 2004 issue of Barbie Bazaar. I don't know what's inside this magazine. It's my first time taking a look at it, so let's go through it together. And in the meantime, enjoy all of the birds and bees and barking dogs and anything else <laughs> that happens to add to the ambiance of this lovely day. How much will your beauty sell for? Number one, sold for $9,000. The build Lily sold for $2,500. Granted, this is in 2004, so... 20 years ago. Bet there are more now. Mm, the 45th anniversary Barbie. Beautiful. I wonder how many of these websites are still active. <laughs> Is this a lamp? Very interesting. Bizarre letters. This one's funny. <laughs> this woman's granddaughter was traveling to Sweden. For some reason, she had a Barbie head in her suitcase. When she arrived in Sweden, they x-rayed her luggage and saw the head. They pulled her out of line, and the guy with the clipboard says, Do you know why we stopped you? She said, No. He said, There's a head in your luggage. She said, Oh yeah, that's Barbie. The man looked at her and said very sternly, and Barbara's last name was... <laughs> yeah, I just have a miniature head in my luggage. Not a real person. Oh, uh, also this little bit of information about the Silkstone Fashion Editor. One of my favorite dolls ever. Based on the former fashion editor of New Yorker and Vogue. Carrie Donovan. I did not know that. And it says that she died in November 2001. Known for her trademark glasses, large glasses, pearls, cashmere, and leopard separates, she was the talented and flamboyant character that Robert Best, fashion editor Silkstone, is a great tribute to Carrie's style and position. How cool, I did not know that. Now I'm happy I paid so much for her. Oh, 
that's fun. Until the mid-90s, the Barbie designer was required to be a textile designer and model maker, as well as a fashion designer and pattern maker. Wow, look at that. They wish us Barbie. Oh, look at all those nice scenes. That Mycene playset. That's so cute. have that blonde one. She's an Avon Barbie. Did they say? I didn't know there was a brunette one. Gorgeous. Oh yeah, exotic beauty. That's who she was. Isn't May Asian and Pacific Islander Commemoration Month? Better late than never. Who's that pink haired lady? Ooh, look at that one. Beautiful.
Hmm, I recognize some of these beauties. Who's the male doll? Silkstone Ken. Huh. Beautiful. Look at the Chase Lounge. Love that. Excuse me while I have some tea. Oh, look at those retro backdrops. Love them. Ooh. Flashy. Fun comparison. Number one Barbie and the latest Cali Girl Barbie. <laughs> Light years apart, indeed. Who is that? Oh, yep, I have that summer sophisticated Barbie and of course the modern circle. Love these. How fun. <laughs> I love how they're all wearing gloves. You know, they've had manicures and now they're getting the paraffin wax treatment. 
That's so smart. Ooh, who is that? Ooh, and that boy doll is very attractive too. Who is that? I don't immediately see who that is, so if you know, let me know who this is. Look at those eyes. Sultry. There she is again. Excuse me while I let the cat out. Oh, look at those clothes. Look at this one, the pantsuit. <sighs> so cute. Ooh. Ooh. Fun costume jewelry. This one kind of reminds me of one of the necklaces that Margot Robbie wore in the Barbie movie. These are so fun and playful. There's that Mishka Barbie again. Oh, they're introducing the pink label, silver label, gold label, platinum label. A new way to collect. That's interesting. was a midnight masquerade party in Boston. How fun. I don't know if you can hear those planes, but it must be like airway rush hour right now, sorry. <laughs> oh yeah.
That's fine. Forty-five things we love about Barbie to commemorate the 45th anniversary. Favorite accessory? <laughs> Fishing? What's on me? Something on me. Friggin' nature. Barbie ties. <laughs> you gotta love the dad that wears those. Favorite playset. Favorite Ken. <laughs> Let's face it, put the two dolls together and it almost always comes out Barbie and Ken. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Favorite Francie outfit. Little pumpkins. So cute. Oh, look at that. Twin Towers. Wait a minute. This was in 2004. It's interesting. Such a face. Mm. What is that one? Oh, Rocky Mountain Mod. Oh, is a convention doll. Wow. Favorite hosiery. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopters. You guys are getting everything today. Favorite catalog goof. What does this say? We've all gotten an outfit and not known what one of the accessories was. Is it a belt? Is it a necklace? Is it a hairband? But the people who photographed Francie's slumber number for a Mattel Germany catalog in 1967 take the Black Forest cake. They mistook her shorty nightgown for a skirt and her sleep mask for a bra. <laughs> Rolling on the floor laughing my ass off as they would say on the internet. You know, as they say on the internet in 2004. Fine. Favorite Barbie game? What? Oh, that looks fun. We should try to find that. Play that. Yes, I follow that creator on Flickr. She makes the most amazing doll furniture. Oh my gosh. Wow, you're even job announcements back here. That's cool. Okay, price guide. I wonder, a lot of customized dolls. Ooh, look at these boy dolls. Cool. 
cool. Wow. Only $86 at Cleopatra? Dang. Ooh, these are all custom dolls. Wow. I would have thought they would have sold for more than that. Talented people. I don't know if this magazine is still published. I kind of don't think so. And yeah, I wonder how many of these web stores are still around. My, my guess is probably not many. <laughs> Barbie has a wild side. We all knew that. Fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lovely summer day. I think I said spring earlier, didn't I? What are you going to do for this lovely summer day? I hope whatever you do, you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Meow.